Welcome to Program Me with Python classes. Right. My name is Muti Ra. I'm PhD in Computer Vision and Machine Learning. Upon completing this course, you are expected to be able to write and clean Python code independently. And to be able to use Git version control and collaborate on the, this platform. And for the programming, we will be focusing on the uh, data science perspective. So you will learn how to import, clean, and analyze data using the different Python libraries. Last but not least, you will be extracting the key information and create visualization to tell a story from our data. Right. Now, let's start with computer science. What is computer science? Right. Before we move to the programming, we need to understand the concept of computer science and data science. Many students nowadays ask me what is the difference between computer science and data science. Why data science became very popular lately? Okay, so before answering all your questions, I will start with introduction. Right there, we will move on to the computer science and data science, and how to use this Python programming to um, solve the problem in the field of data science. Now, let me step. Introduction, intro, introducing myself. My name is Mildina. Uh, I did my bachelor's, master, and PhD all in the area of uh, engineering, but my special focus is on the computer vision and machine learning. Right. Why do I teach this course? Uh, since I got my PhD in the areas of computer vision and machine learning, I have been working in the uh, data science, machine learning problems for almost seven years, right? I have been teaching many students from different countries, including Bhutan, Myanmar, and now Thailand. Um, for me, uh, teaching is a passion. I really enjoy teaching. Um, then many of my students ask me that uh, they need to have the videos as a reference. So I decided to set up this YouTube channel and then share my knowledge Wherever I have been teaching in the offline, I want to share online, all right? So uh, a bit of introducing to myself again. My name is Muti Da. Uh, I really love cycling, hiking, and more importantly, I love working with the youths, right? And I'm very happy whenever I see the students know how to think logically and how to write a program successfully. I have been teaching the students with a zero background and tell the expert that they can write a simple code with independence. So now what I want from you, what are the things that I expected from you? I, I want everyone of you to be PhD. Not like a permanent head damage, but I want you to have these three things. Passion, hunger, and discipline. Um, you must have a passion to learn, all right? And you must be hungry. I believe many of you search this YouTube channel because you have passion and hungry to learn, hang out to learn this course. Right? But main important thing is the discipline. Uh, today, well, a lot of online materials are available. Uh, without a discipline, it is so hard for you to learn something from the online. Right? You might start uh, halfway, you might start, and then in the halfway, you might give up eventually. So it is very important to have a discipline when you start learning from online, All right? Okay, now, let's pause a bit and think of yourself, all right? Why am I joining this course? What do you know about this course? What do I expect from this course after completing this uh, learning process, all right? Okay, now, let's start with computer science versus data science. Computer science is started much earlier and computer science focus on how the software operates and how the computer programming works. On the other hand, data science focus on the data, right? Focus on the data. Uh, in this particular course, we are going to use the technical knowledge, programming language, right? To analyze the, to process this complex data. Having said that, data science is not only the discipline for the programming perspective. A mathematician, a statistician can be a data scientist also, right? And um, even an economist can be a data scientist. So a person can be a data scientist without even knowing how to write a single code. That is perfectly okay, 
all right um so data science can be considered like combination of computer science mathematics and statistics and domain knowledge you will learn throughout the uh, courses once you start to learn you will know more understand more about the data science all right but in this course we will focus on the python programming we will uh, approach the data science from the uh, programming perspective all right for the computer science uh, perspective now when does a computer science start it? all right computer science status in 19th 19th centuries okay once uh, as the computer evolved the computer science also evolves eventually i'm not going to test on the numbers of the years but this is good to know the history all right how does the computer science started and then how it evolves with the computers data science has been there for many years since 1960s all right however uh, in the recent year especially after 2000s okay uh, we have thousands thousands of data available on the internet okay the usage of data the information is um, evolving very quickly all right once the data evolved in any organization any society we need to use this data to make a decision data driven decision is very important all right so uh, this is how data science has been in a huge demand in the market and the various industry domain require this data science discipline. Uh, before we move on the problem solving, uh, I want to stop here for this videos. Right? Remember to continue watching the next videos to learn more about the computer science. Thank you.